let's find the centroid of this triangle. And what we'll do is find x bar first. So we break up this triangle into infinitesimally thin areas, and this differential area is equal to y by dx. And considering this triangle has a height h and width b, the slope of this line is therefore minus h on b. And then multiplying by x and adding the y-intercept gives the equation of that line. So therefore we can rewrite this integral as an integral from 0 to b. And we have x multiplied by dA. So that would be y, which is this term, which is minus h on b by x, plus h, and we integrate over x. And that's divided by the integral from 0 to b of dA, which is minus h on b by x plus h, and we integrate with respect to x. Now we know this integral here is going to evaluate to bh on 2, which you can verify as the area of this triangle. And now if we evaluate the integral in a numerator, we have minus h on b by x squared, so it'll be x cubed on 3, and then plus h by x squared on 2. And we evaluate this from 0 to b. And that's divided by bh on 2. So therefore we have minus h by b cubed on 3b plus hb squared on 2. And that's divided by bh on 2. So one of these b's will cancel, and another b will cancel with this one, and h will cancel with this one. So what we get is minus b on 3 plus b on 2 over a half. So one third is the same as two sixths, and one half is three sixths. So what you get is one on six on a half, or b on three. And this is a well known centroid of a triangle, which is one third of the distance from this side. And I'll leave it for you to evaluate this integral to verify that y bar is equal to h on 3. Please subscribe, like and comment to help me reach more students.